This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we will be given a string as an input and our task is to find the abbreviation of the given input string. So here our input string is automated teller machine. So the abbreviation is ATM. So the abbreviation is nothing but the first character from each and every word of the given input string. So the first word is automated and in that the first character is A. So first we have to take this character A. And then the next word is teller and the first character in teller is T and then the next word is machine so the first character in machine is M so we have to combine all these three characters and we have to return it in our output so it is ATM and we should also convert the characters into uppercase so even though the T and M is in lowercase we have to print it in uppercase so now let us see how we will be defining this function named get abbreviation so this function accepts a character pointer named str in the arguments and this function is also expected to return a character pointer. So now our task is to find the abbreviation of the string str. So I am creating a character pointer named abbreviation and using the mlog function we are going to allocate memory to it. So within the arguments of the mlog function we are giving size of character in 2001. So we can store up to 1001 characters in this character pointer named abbreviation. And next I am creating another integer variable named len and I am setting it to 0 initially. So now we have to iterate through the characters of str. And if the previous character is an empty space then the current character is nothing but an abbreviation. So we have to take that particular word. So this is the logic which we are going to apply. So to iterate through str I am creating a loop. So this i loop iterates from 0 till i less than the string length of str and in every iteration we are going to check whether the previous character is an empty space. So I am checking whether str of i minus 1 is empty space and also i should be greater than 0 because if i is equal to 0 then i minus 1 will be minus 1 which is out of range. So whenever i is greater than 0 we are going to check the previous character is an empty space or not. So this logic will find the abbreviation for the intermediate words and also the first character will always be an abbreviation. So either the previous condition must be true or i should be equal to 0. If any one of the condition is true then we are going to store that particular character into this character pointer named abbreviation at the index len++. So before storing we have to convert it into uppercase because that is the condition given in the question. So after the execution of the loop all the abbreviation characters will be stored into the character pointer abbreviation. So now we have to set the last character as null. So we can just say abbreviation of len is equal to null. So now our output is in abbreviation. So using a return statement we can just return it. So this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.